Hey guys, this is John. Welcome to John's Vintage Road Bike Garage. And today we're working a 1973 Raleigh International. I highlighted it earlier, but this time we're going to finish it. Let's get started. Here we go. Here's the beast right here. We're going to put that cockpit together. We're going to string it up, put on a chain, toe clips and straps. Let's get rocking. I think what I'm going to do is bring my park stand with a better clamp. This one's a drag. All right, I guess the way we're going to do this is we're going to put this where we want it. And once we figure that out, we're going to tape this right here with tape, regular tape. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the bars with the lever off but the clamp on, and then we're gonna mount this on. It may not look the best, but I don't think there's, without being able to bend these things back, I don't think we're gonna have a choice. Let's give it a try. All right, it looks like about the right position. Take a little painter's tape, put it behind here. All right, let's get taping. And in the last few days, a lot's happened. Um, actually, on Thursday, I was going to go pick up a couple of bicycles. You'll see a video on that. And uh, on the way to pick up those bicycles, I was just feeling some pain. And long story short, I ended up in the hospital and I had a stint put in. They went in right through here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but you'll see that in another video. Not a lot, but you'll, you'll see what happened. I put a little piece of tape here. Now I'm going to wrap around it. I've never done it before without a hood or a brake lever on it. This might be interesting. Let's give this a crack. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully it looks pretty. We'll do one of these. And start going around. Honestly, it doesn't look horrible. I'm going to cheat and kind of color those black, but you cannot fold those back and tape underneath it. It'll just crack the hood. <laughs> Check this out. This is pretty comical. Look at all that crud in there. That's dirt. Let me get that out of there. Now what's funny guys, I found some here as well. That just tells me this thing was crashed in the dirt or mud. Well, it looks like my bicycle is a few grams lighter. Let's continue. Alright guys, let's string it up. I'm gonna piss some of you guys off. I'm gonna run the cable in front of the handlebars. Sorry. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at my culture.
all properly strung up on the brakes. Some would argue I have that actually uh, routed incorrectly. And you'd probably be right. When I ride, I like the cables out of the way. Call me strange. All right, let's string up the derailleurs. The height to be approximately between a 16th and an eighth inch right there, right above the, the teeth there. And make sure that the, dera the derailleur is parallel with your chain ring. Good. Some people have asked me if I use, if I used Campagnolo cables, the vintage ones, and I do not. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze, the amount of money you pay for those things. And you know, it's a lot of jack. So I buy the bulk wires in the box. Before you run your derailleur cables, give it a test and make sure you're not rubbing up against the frame here with your front derailleur cable. Looks like we're close. So I'm gonna move this clamp down a little bit and always make sure that baby's tight because if not, it's gonna run up the frame and give a nice scrape. This is a new old stock chain. Look at that, it doesn't even bend. It will once I give it a little bit of a clean streak. All right, let's pin that up. Far. More. Right, we did it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, it's finished. Love it. Well, I say finished, I still have to align that rear dropout and put some toe clip straps on, use some cable ends. Great, love this thing, gorgeous. And I did another video, you can see more of the details. I'll link it below, but pretty sharp. Not bad for a 73, huh? Great shape.